It's Alyssa McConte, why would she say something probably lame and possibly gay? Because it's alright, because she's ready to fight. It's Alyssa McConte, hey, hey, hey. So Alyssa McConte, she has to always have the final word, and usually it usually backfires on her. Now let me go ahead and preface this. This is in regards to the Dr. Disrespect situation uh, with his statement that came out um, which was pretty damning, and we all was waiting for that. And the fact that Dr. Disrespect did say that these things happened, uh, a lot of us prior to that, we was trying to play it safe. It was like, okay, we've seen this happen before with a lot of people, especially with Pro Jared. And my my thoughts on that is don't throw in anybody into the wolves until you have the whole picture. And in this case, there was a lot of people that were skeptical. Now, for some odd reason, whenever these people call that out, especially the act man, uh, these people got called pedo crusaders, pedo defenders, or whatever, when the fact is the only thing, the only rational thing to do as a human being, and this is how the justice system works, is wait for the evidence before saying this person's guilty. But the actual statement did come out. A lot of people was like, wow, that's that's pretty fucked up. And a lot of people said, hey, I don't support that. But for some odd reason, people are still asking, hey, I want to see those logs. Twitch needs investigated, which they absolutely do. They really do. Because, I mean, if they're willing to hold that for four years, just imagine what else they're able to hold back. Uh, especially the fact that it's very easy for a minor to hop on Twitch, get access to these adult uh, content streams where we have the big titty chicks uh, barely covered in nothing, hopping in the tub, hot tub, uh, stretching and licking ears, which is, I hate to say it, that's, that's sexual, by the way, and that's very easy for a minor to hop on there. Now, this is no defense for Doc. Uh, I think that what he did was fucking terrible, fucking awful. And uh, he just nuked his whole fucking career because uh, he has to talk to uh, kids. Well, a lot of people saying, hey, we don't even know the actual age of this person. But in my, in my eyes, when looking at that, when he came out and made that statement and made the edits, um, the actual picture was pretty damning. Now, like I said, I do want to see a full investigation on Twitch for this because... Uh, obviously, like I said, it's the right thing to do. People need to see these logs. I think that's the right thing to do. Now, we have defenders uh, saying, hey, Twitch doesn't need to be investigated. Why would they need that? You're just covering for your man, which that's what Alyssa McConte was saying. We'll flip over there. So right here, she made this statement basically after everything was going on. And this is basically in regards to what Melanie Mack and Vera Dark Put out. So let's go ahead and read theirs first. We'll start with Melanie Mack. It says, in light of this Dr. Disrespect stuff, just remember that women are very deliberately streaming sexual content that Twitch even puts on the front page sometimes visible for minors. Shut it all down. Now, I do agree with that. I, I, I think that's a, a based stance. I mean, I think it's a really good stance to take because it's actually there. And, I mean, like I said, if it's going to be just Doc, there's going to be more people involved with this shit, especially, like, in the back end. These people knew this for four years, and they didn't let it out. So that's really looking bad on Twitch. But fuck Doc at this point. Uh, let's go take a look at Vera. says... What a sad day to end the Dr. Disrespect situation. While leans toward inappropriate could mean something as simple as a joke with a sexual tone, but editing out the crucial word minor and expecting people to not see it is telling enough. We still haven't seen any of the chat logs, which to me can provide a lot of context I'd like to see. But at the end of the day, it sounds like there were Twitch employees who were desperate to find a way to cancel him. Twitch, their employees, and journos sat on this information for years, and some even tried to profit off of it. Twitch needs to be investigated, and I'm left wondering what else they're trying to cover up. Again, again that's that's not covering, that's not protecting Doc. Doc, he's his his career's done. He admitted it. He uh, he's on the pedal list. Uh, but like I said, there's nothing wrong with wanting to see the evidence. Nothing wrong with that because Twitch, like people see this shit, you know, there's other stuff happening, especially 
with that which that uh, whisper feature back in the day, it's hard to tell what these people seen. And I'm thinking there was somebody, and we'll look for it here in a moment. But uh, Alyssa came back. Alyssa said, "Hurry, they're making it out." about anything other than the man who just admitted to inappropriately messaging a minor. Women are jailers of the patriarchy. So for some odd reason, she decided to add some social justice warrior flair just because some people was wanting to know what the chat logs is and wanting uh, Twitch investigated. Um, I'm just going to say this. If, if you're saying, hey, Twitch doesn't need investigated, why? Why do they need investigated and you're questioning it? That's also pedo behavior just because we had one of the biggest streamers kicked off that platform four years ago and had a settlement came out he said he talked to the miner that's more shit that's going on over there because twitch is definitely hiding other shit they have to be investigated and that has nothing to do with defending a pedophile um and you know i know some people was like hey uh i still don't think it's real but the fact is Doc came out and he said, hey, this happened. Uh, he didn't say what the conversation was over, but when he says leaning to inappropriateness, that means something awful was pretty fucking terrible to say. But I don't see where Alyssa, um, I don't understand. She's supposed to be a fucking journalist. And a journalist, you would think, would want to know the whole story, not just half acid. Now, I know if one of her buddies, her cohorts from... Kotaku or the game journals were in this type of situation on, I guess, the SJW side, um, she would just probably simp for those people. And this happens all the time. Um, I know there were some mentionings, and I haven't looked into this, but something with Keffels, and I don't know who Keffels is, but apparently there's some situation like that, and a lot of people was trying to uh, simp for him. Same situation. Like I said, Pro Jared was a good good way of looking at this and a lot of people said even the act men said uh pro jared situation was a good way to gauge this because like i said there's a lot of people that can get baseless accusations on them, especially when you're called out to be a pedophile that's that's huge that's going to fucking destroy your life and we wanted to make sure hey is these twitch employees being fucky is this guy who was trying to sell tickets to his band come out and uh say he was going to give people the actual reason why uh dr disrespect was banned just because he could sell some tickets people noticed that then he was profiting off that so if he knew it for so fucking long um you know obviously there needs to be an investigation now i know they also attacked like uh nick Merckx, tim the tatman a few others just because they spoke up and they didn't know now here's the thing if midnight society the actual company that he worked for he was the co-founder of this company. If they didn't know until the other day and the other people didn't know until the other, how do you expect that these guys knew, how, knew it? Do you think Dr. Disrespects want to go in and say, hey, guys, by the way, I talked to a minor uh, four years ago and it was sexual. It was definitely spicy. Um, you know, I know people do not like Nick Merckx uh, because his stance on uh, the current culture war and people probably don't like him to tap man because he's pretty based but i think you know just saying that they knew already i think that's fucking dangerous it's not guilty by association at all just because you stream with the guy and most of these guys probably never met him uh i think uh nick Merck said he's never met him but maybe once but he streams with him um you know, I, I would think, you know, if Nuba, nobody else knew about it, and especially his company that he co-founded didn't know about it until they made that uh, investigation, then I don't think they knew about it either. So I don't think uh, just somebody that was associated with Dr. Disrespect should not be labeled as some kind of pedo defender or anything like that. But anyways, let's take a look. There was actually a uh, some other user. <sighs> Where is that? Um I know they posted it the other day. Uh, we'll find it here in a second. This is actually another person that is actually within um, on Twitch. Where is that? Man, probably not going to fucking find it because now that I'm looking up for it, it's probably, <laughs> it's probably gone. It's probably gone. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Not seeing it. Did it get fucking deleted? Really? Did this really get deleted? 
Yeah, I think it got deleted. Pretty sure. Well, never mind. I guess I can't fucking say it because it got deleted, it looks like. But uh, basically, there was a person that said they worked with Twitch uh, prior. And like I said, if I can find it, uh, I'll put it in the description. That way you guys can see it. Or I'll just put a photo of it right here. That way you can see it too. But if I do find it, you guys can see it. Uh, but I can't find it now for some reason. Uh, and I did comment on this morning. And I did share it. Maybe... Maybe. Hang on. Don't just give me a second. Just give me a second. I know what you're gonna say. And you're gonna say, don't freak out, dude. Just don't freak out. I'm gonna freak out, man. About to freak out. It's a real... Yeah, I can't find it. It's gone. It's fucking gone. That just kind of destroys the whole thing that I was trying to get to, but yeah, they seem, seem to delete tweets on here quite a bit. But anyways, uh, the whole gist of it is, Alyssa, um, it's not fucking wrong to ask for evidence or an investigation, especially to a company that held this secret and facilitated this uh, for four years. So if they're willing to go those lengths, it's hard to tell what else they're able to go with. But until then, I'll find that, and I'll let you guys see it as soon as I can. Love you. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you soon.